In 2004, Russia decriminalized the possession of many drugs. So why are people still being arrested for their use? Each drug in Russia has a different threshold on what is allowed to be possessed. Having any less than these quantities will only be an administrative offense, which is usually a fine. However, it's frequent for police to fabricate drug offenses, using it to extort bribes out of individuals caught with drugs. The Russian decriminalization system is also highly punitive. The quantities that determine the severity of your punishment are based on highly subjective categories that don't define exact quantities, meaning they're ripe for police abuse. Even though these thresholds exist, it doesn't mean that the police will respect them. Research into police practices found that it was common for police to plant drugs on people or report larger quantities than what had been found to get longer sentences and appear they are catching more serious criminals. These measures ensure that people who use drugs are at the mercy of the police and continue to be seen and treated as criminals in Russian society. While it's difficult to know exactly how many prisoners there are, the latest data from 2019 reported almost 130,000 prisoners in Russia for drug offenses, with an average sentence of five years given to each person. When so many punishments continue to exist for people who use drugs, can this really be called decriminalization?